What's up and welcome to the story of my life. Today we're going to be testing the Galaxy S8 Plus camera. Not all the shots will be shot with the Galaxy S8 Plus, but I will have a little thing in the bottom down there when I am shooting with the Galaxy S8 Plus. It's been a crazy last few days. So many new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. In celebration, giving away my gaming desktop, I'm also giving away a Galaxy S8 Plus over on Gizmo Slip. You can go ahead and click here if you're just here for the giveaway details. If not, you can stick around and watch the whole video. All right, here we go. She's doing the elliptical. She never does the elliptical. She's always lifting weights and playing basketball. Hey, look, there's Carla. Let's start driving away without her. Ready? Uh, she doesn't even care. I don't even see it. She just. Are you serious right now, Carla? I think she's beating at me at my own game. She's refusing to even come. Oh, there she is. <laughs> There's gonna be a test for the front facing camera on the Galaxy S8 Plus. Okay, so this is a Galaxy S8 Plus camera test. It's gonna be interesting seeing how it handles when I turn it sideways. So it's kind of got my face and bright sky in the background. Overall, I was really impressed with the Galaxy S8 Plus daylight video. It was very sharp, very contrasty, very oversaturated with colors, which I really like, especially on the AMOLED display on the Galaxy S8 Plus, which is really awesome to watch your videos because you can zoom in on the actual videos and pictures, which is just sweet. I really like the optical image stabilization. The videos came out very smooth, though the stabilization is not quite as good as the iPhone 7 Plus, in my opinion. Unfortunately, there's also some downsides to the Galaxy S8 Plus. The low light performance with the Galaxy S8 Plus really isn't that great. It's very noisy. And if you're shooting in dim lighting, sometimes the shutter speed drops below 30 frames per second, causing the video to stutter. Here's a shot comparing the Galaxy S8 Plus with the iPhone 7 Plus, including the two times optical zoom on the iPhone 7 Plus. Unfortunately, the time-lapse mode suffers from some nasty compression artifacts. Another thing to keep in mind is that some of these shortcomings are just because of the Galaxy S8 Plus app. For example, the time-lapse compression artifacting is just because of how they programmed it to be. If you were to download a third-party app, you could easily get a time-lapse with really high quality. After working out and grabbing breakfast, we decided to head into downtown Portland to get some more shots, explore the city a little bit, and eat at one of my favorite restaurants, Little Big Burger. Bum ba down. You ready to eat? Going to my favorite burger joint, the Little Big Burger. I love this place. We're riding on a pink cloud. We totally forgot to uh, pay the parking meter. <laughs> so we're going back to do that. We're good right now? All right.
highly recommend this. Surprisingly good. You taste but so bacon? weird. You taste the bacon? Kind of. <laughs> it tastes more like little pieces of salt. Okay, okay. We're off. Okay. Hey, buds. Hi. <laughs> you were so good. Good boy. You were good too, buddy. Yeah, you were good too. Yes. Woo! We hit 50,000 subs on the vlog channel. That's amazing. It's a great, great first step. On to 100,000, on to 500,000, on to a million. We can do this. Let's do this. Okay, so first real quick, I am giving away a Galaxy S8 Plus. This is a awesome, awesome new phone. I really, really enjoyed it. This Galaxy S8 Plus is for AT&T. It's the one that Samsung gave me. I can't control what carrier it's on, so even if you're not on AT&T, it's still an awesome, awesome phone. And you can always resell it for like 800 bucks if you wanted to. It's time to take a look at this awesome desktop and everything that comes with it. A Razer Black Widow mechanical keyboard. So I'm just listening to it as it types. It's so comfortable typing on it. It's definitely one of the best keyboards that you can buy. It's individually lit keys. You can make them any color you want. Something else that's really cool about this keyboard, a USB, a headphone, and a mic port. This is a Logitech G502 mouse. It's a fantastic gaming mouse. With this mouse, you can have it click wheel, press this button, and you can spin it freely. Also have a super long network cable. So when I game, I absolutely always, 100% of the time, want to be gaming on more than 100 frames per second. Even when you're just doing strategy games, it's just smoother, it's nicer, but it's especially important for first person shooters because you can react so much faster. This Acer monitor is amazing. It, to get one that's equivalent, it costs like $700. It's a 2560 by 1440 IPS 144 hertz display monitor. This is an awesome, awesome monitor for gaming, for video editing, for photo editing, for watching movies, anything. It's awesome. Starting at the front here, we have a slider, power button, reset button, USBs. I think these two USBs work, but these ones do not work. This works right here, SD card reader and another USB. This is a DVD rewriter. Extra slots for uh, whatever else you might want to upgrade. This is a quick remove case panel. All you have to do is pop these screws off the back. The other side comes off as well, which is really handy. Starting at the top, we have an ASUS Sabertooth Z77 motherboard. Really nice motherboard, great for overclocking. We've got a heavy duty Cooler Master heat sink here. We've got four sticks of eight gigabyte DDR memory. We've got a GTX 780 Ti graphics card, a Thermaltake 750 watt power supply. If you wanna add a second graphics card, you'll probably want to upgrade that though. This is a high quality one. We've got lots of extra plugs for extra things if you wanna upgrade more stuff. We've got extra slots if you wanna insert more stuff here as well. This I believe can do three cards. Ah, I think this can handle three cards in SLI. I'm 
I'm not sure. We've got extra SATA ports down here for extra hard drives if you want to add more stuff as well. A 256 gig, a 512 gig SSD. These are awesome SSDs, a Crucial and Samsung. And then you've got two two terabyte drives. So one here, one here. I'm not sure which ones of these work. I need to double check that when I test this out. Got lots of fans to move air as well as a fan in the actual door as well. On the back, you can see we've got two eSATAs, four USB 3s. Uh, this motherboard does have a graphics card, but I wouldn't recommend it because you have this one. This 780 GTX has two DVIs, an HDMI, and a display port out. I'm gonna go ahead and fully test this machine, do a fresh install of Windows, put some drivers on there, and then pack it up for whoever wins this giveaway. If you want to enter to win this awesome gaming desktop, you need to comment not on this video, but on the How I Met My Girlfriend Carla video, link in the description, annotation at the end. And if you want to enter to win the Galaxy S8 Plus, you need to go comment on the durability drop test video for the Galaxy S8, link in the description for that video as well. Anyway, that's it for this vlog. We'll see you next time. Brandon, out. Boo.